and welcome. Uh, I have a very exciting announcement I'd like to deliver. Uh, we are jumping in for some new features that have just been recently released inside the theme generator. We're going to dive right in and I'll turn on my computer here and we'll jump right into some new releases. Today we are very excited to announce, as soon as my background shows here, we are very excited to announce, uh, if you jump over to themes.powerbi.tips, this is your normal uh, themes page you're normally used to here, you'll notice in the last couple of weeks we have released this new feature called wireframing. Wireframes are found here inside the theme generator on the left hand side. If you click on wireframes, you'll now notice a whole new graphical user interface and what we've done is we're actually letting you wireframe out and build a portion of your Power BI reports directly inside the theme generator. This makes pages. You can rearrange the pages. You can rename them. You can add images and backgrounds. And today, we're now releasing the ability to add your own visuals directly to these pages. Let me show you how fast it is to build an entire report, multiple pages with images on them, and even stubbing out where the visuals will live on those pages. This is all without data. This is more graphical UI design for your Power BI reports. So starting off, you have a little menu here at the top. It will allow you to adjust the name of your theme. So we're gonna just do a demo of this theme and or report right here. We have our pages. The pages are noted here in the left-hand side of the screen. And first thing first, we'll just go in here to the page. We'll click on the page itself and highlighting it in blue means it's highlighted. On the right hand side of the page, we can upload a background or a scrim to that image or that page. So I'm going to click upload. I'm going to click on some predefined visuals that I have. These are all made as SVG images. I'll grab my image and upload it to the page and boom, I get a page background automatically applied to that page. Uh, again, like we've seen before previously, I can copy that page and then we can again on page number two here, we can also upload a different image. So I'm going to grab another page icon here as well. And I'll do a third page just for kicks and giggles here. Uh, actually, I want to duplicate it, so I'll just do the duplicate icon. And now we have another page. So I'm going to upload yet another image for my report. So these are different ways that I can graphically illustrate things on my report. So these are the images, the backgrounds that we're going to dive into for our reports. Also, if you double click on the page, or if you click this little expand icon up here in the left hand side, what we'll do is it'll actually open up that page and make it very large for you. So now in addition to not only adding background images and stylizing things in your theme, you can now add individual visuals. You'll notice here on the left hand side of the screen, there are a whole bunch of visuals you can pick from. These look familiar. These are the icons that Power BI uses uh, to generate your visuals on the report page. And it's just as easy as clicking the visual, dragging it around on your report canvas and dropping in where you want it to be. I'm going to add a couple more visuals here as well to my report page and you'll immediately notice that there's our red lines appearing. These red lines are the snapping. This is automatic snapping that goes along with this. So it'll snap the visuals and align them for you directly inside your report, which is awesome. Um, you'll also notice here that I've added two visuals. You have a page navigation at the top of the pages here, so we can easily rename these pages. So for example, if I want to rename these pages, I can just double click the page name here as well. Overview page, this is what we're going to do for this page, and we'll rename page number two. So this will be page one, and then we'll have page two here at the end. So I'm just going to rename these so they're all consistent and how I want my report to be named. So I'll get rid of all that stuff. And we'll add number page two here as well. So there, we built our report. Uh, you can, I can add visuals. There's also a number of shortcut commands that we can also use on here as well. You'll also notice there is an information button here in the upper right hand side. We have shortcut keys. So we have the arrow keys that can move the visual around one pixel at a time. If you use shift and arrow keys, you can move by 10 pixels. Alt plus arrow key moves the visuals by 50 pixels. And you can shrink and grow the visual either uh, in any direction with the S and G command keys. So shrinking and G for growing. You can grow the visual or shrink the visual either way you want with those other commands as well. Deleting key will delete the visual and V will add a new visual. So I don't even have to click buttons. I can literally use my keyboard to build most of my report. Click the visual button on the report page and there we go. We'll get a visual showing up. Now that we have our visual here. We can even be very prescriptive of where this visual goes. We also have the width, height, uh, X and Y directions. Um, you can adjust this formatting. 
In the other settings on building report pages, you can now enable snapping to edges. You can turn that on or off. You can turn off the snapping to center. I usually don't like that feature enabled. And you can turn on whole number matching. So what whole numbers will do is if I move this visual now, you see that we get more precision on where this visual can be moved. So we can get really high precision on adjusting those numbers. In reality, I don't usually do that. In, in most of my report designs, I like the numbers to be whole number based. So I keep that uh, toggle on. And then when I move the visual around, you'll see exactly where this lives on the page. And these are pixels, uh, pixel for pixel, where the background image would live on the report page. I'll copy this visual a number of times. There we go. I can just easily grab visuals and align them directly on my report canvas just the way I want. And they're all aligned and ready to go. The other neat part here too with this is if I click on a visual, I can then quickly adjust the width and height of them uh, instantaneously by just clicking tab. So if I want this to be 350, I can go over here to the kit, the numbers area here. And then I can go ahead and just type in the numbers that I want. 350. And my numbers are not typing. My numlock's not on. Should let me do that. But I'll adjust that, and then it'll let me adjust that visual here. And then you can adjust other things here as well, uh, right along with that those other elements right on the page there. With that, you have your report built. You can then download your report directly. You can uh, zoom out on this. You can see all your report pages. You can rearrange them very quickly by just dragging them, dropping them around wherever you want. Uh, super fast and easy to use there. So you get the exact right look and feel of your report. Once you're done, you can hit download. That's this button here in the middle. And clicking the download button will then bring it down to your computer. Now, once you have that, you'll have a file folder on your desktop. It will extract all those items. Extracting them brings me to a quick little uh, PBIP project file. If I double click on the Power BI project file, that's the PBIP folder here, it will then bring up desktop immediately. And from there, I'll be able to see in Power BI desktop as it loads here, my report is already built and ready to go. So I have my overview page done. I have page one and page two already backgrounds are ready to go. It's as easy now as going in and connecting directly to a data set from my PowerBI.com service. The data set is now attached, and then I can start dragging and dropping fields directly from the different categories or things that I want and add them right to my report. And then it's as easy now as building different elements right on my report name. So now I can immediately go grab different information right on my report. And it's that simple. I've now built an entire report uh, all of your theming properties, if you adjust any of the theme properties and the rest of the theme center will automatically be added. If you change your color palette, if you do another additional stylizing options, those will all be included inside your downloaded file. Well, I hope you like this demo of us introducing more features around wireframes. Now you can add pages, move them around, add images, and now you can add visuals. We hope you like this demo and we'll see you next time.